I made with compactor. It's from, I think uh, this one was part of the lintel. It's oak beam and it's really heavy. I don't know, it's like 10 kilos. So yeah, I compacted here. But also here is really thin layer which I add and I need to compact. So that's fine, I think. Because uh, otherwise you need to use a special machine to compact it properly. But the floor was compacted a long time ago, so it's fine, I hope. I still need to do some things to finish sewerage system or current stage. Yeah, this pipe is not connected yet. And this one is the same, so... Now I want to add this connection element here. I am using chemical anchor to secure with rods and it's quite strange because yeah I don't know why with uh, connectors using uh, M7 diameter to secure. Yeah, I don't know what is in uh, United States measurements, but it's M7. And uh, usually all uh, things which I can put inside wall, it's M6 or M8. That's why I bought this rod cut it and I need to use this chemical anchor to secure all these items because I cannot find proper different proper solution to uh, connect with things to the wall Pipe secured. Need to go upstairs and do the same thing upstairs. So the system is assembled, I'll explain everything tomorrow. Right now it's quite late and I still need to clean up here a little bit. Yeah, I finished assembling for the first stage of the Sewerage system. Let me explain. We are on first floor and this is part or all these fittings is for toilet. It will be toilet here. And here it will be bathroom. So this is for 
uh, dirty water and this is for the grey water. Here it will be insulation. Yeah, this pipe will be hidden in the wall inside insulation. And yeah, here I have like inspection point. So if uh, yeah, if uh, it's clogged, you can clean it from here and from here. This long pipe is a ventilation pipe. It's not finished yet because I need to add uh, small pieces of pipe uh, upper and also drill hole into the wall. Just move it outside, put some cup on top. This pipe will help to escape all gases from the septic or uh, suck some fresh air into. Another usage for this pipe, it also helps to make proper uh, uh, air trap in sinks or in a toilet, because if the system is closed and if it's a lot of water go inside the system, so all these traps can be sucked, all this water can be sucked into the system, so it means it will be no water inside all these traps and it will be uh, smelly. It's a little bit strange construction here, but it really doesn't matter because all water stop here. And this part is only for ventilation. So let's go downstairs. This is ground floor or upcomer in Dutch. We're also going to have bathroom here. Second one. Here also will be some insulation. Here it will be toilet. Here it will be yeah sink one or two. Uh, it's a pipe only for this sink sinks. And here it will be bath. I'm going to drill hole somewhere where it needed because it's basement under uh, with bathroom, so it will work perfectly. And let's go to the basement. Yeah, uh, it's a basement with pipes. Uh, go, yeah, go up to the uh, bathrooms. Yeah, this is uh, I keep this uh, part uh, for bus tube, which will be somewhere. Here I don't know where I will build this, but doesn't matter. Pipes for this one is grey water, dark water. I have this inspection points. It's fine to clean uh, this pipe if it's clogged till the septic. And I have inspection point on top, so it's it's quite straightforward. Here I have some cuff like 45 degree and some slope. It's just to flow the water which goes from the top with high speed like... In theory it should help to make system uh, more silent. And uh, all pipes has a proper slope. It's like 2 centimeters per meter or uh, like it was in comments, like one inch per four foot. So I use uh, 11 centimeters pipe in diameter. It's like, um, I don't know how much, three inches, four inches pipe everywhere. Uh, yeah, maybe in kitchen I can use smaller pipes, but when I start checking the price and so on, also I had some pipes and fittings. For me, it was just cheaper to use bigger pipe. And it's nice uh, because also it's harder to clog it. That's why I'm using uh, with diameter for pipes everywhere. And only in bathrooms where I have outputs for sink or for toilet, uh, it will be some smaller diameter, but yeah, it should work. It must work. 
Also, a lot of people asking to use a lot of glue when I'm gluing pipe, but uh, here in Europe, usually we're using a pipe with rubber insert. Like, so you can put pipe, yeah, connect pipes together without any glue, and it works fine. And yeah, I can disassemble everything. And assemble it again if I need. I hope I don't. That's all for the sewerage system. It's ready for the next phase. So next phase will be when I start connecting all with sinks, baths, uh, toilets and so on. But right now it's fine. So that's all for this video. See you. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Oh.